Today we are not used to the body when it's bare. The skin beyond our face and arms, beneath the clothes we wear. Untaught to see its beauty, we've learned to label lewd the birthday suit we started with, which God created nude. It's true, we make exceptions for toddlers full of glee, who run around in pure delight, stark naked, clothing free. But those who rediscover this liberty so clean are called when they come back to it perverted and obscene. Yet artists who observe it in models posed unclad acknowledge how the human form is beautiful, not bad. When healthcare workers view it, no decency is gone. A patient's dignity remains when seen with nothing on. It's found by missionaries to naked people sent that porn invades a culture's land to which our clothing went. It's known by skinny dippers who bathe in sea and sun that recreation in the buff is simply healthy fun. church has failed her duty to guard and to proclaim that God's own image in our flesh is free from body shame. Instead, the naked body is marketed for lust, relinquished into sordid hands by pulpits breaking trust. Are human bodies sinful without their textile wraps? Must children have to look for them in pornographic traps? Can't we, who praise our Maker, sustain our hungry youth, whose natural curiosity God meant to feast on truth? False modesty is shameful. It sends the lovely breast into a realm of carnal thoughts when mothers nurse undressed. It bans the Sistine Chapel, where nudes are plainly shown, and censures Michelangelo for sculpting them in stone. We've grown quite unaccustomed to normal nudity. We even hide ourselves at home from friends and family. Some people hate their bodies, despising God's design, embarrassed if they must disrobe and let his glory shine. Yet most of our ancestors all bathed in open air. They lived and dressed in one-room homes and saw each other bare. We trim for sports and workouts, Greek athletes did so stripped, and Christians went to Roman baths with just their towels equipped. The ancients often labored like Peter in the nude. When prophets preached without a stitch, nobody called it rude. The early church's converts were naked when baptized. Though Bible scholars know these facts, they're never advertised. Have we made better progress in our morality by pushing man contrived taboos on human nudity? Did God create his likeness to foster sinful lust? Do we confirm the serpent's scheme for souls God sheathed in dust? If we could just recapture the ancient attitude that saw no scandal in a field of gardeners working nude. If we more often witnessed God's image on display, we might regain a wholesome view of nakedness today.